Morning, Steve Free in Chicago, the morning grain comments. Well, it's Friday, and I think it's uh, cold here in Chicago. And uh, when we look at the weather maps, it looks like next Thursday we'll actually be warming up closer to freezing. Uh, that sounds like a good thing. But the problem is in asking the weather guys, uh, they said that even though temperatures historically warm up this time of year as we get into the spring, we still have some shots of cold weather that will keep uh, temperatures colder than normal uh, into March. So uh, that's something that we have to look forward to, I guess. As far as the overnight markets, prices are um, about unchanged. Uh, for the week, corn's up eight cents, beans up almost 40 cents, and wheat's up almost 30 cents. We've seen a change of ownership with the funds covering shorts in wheat, uh, corn, and soybean oil, and adding to longs and beans and meal. Farmer, both South America, Brazil, and also here in the United States, has been a good seller of uh, corn and beans on the rally. So we've had good ownership uh, switching of the futures market. Big thing is on Monday, USDA comes out with their uh, monthly revisions of supply and demand. And I think, uh, first of all, in corn, market expects demand to be up and carry out to be down. And that the prices might rally because of that. Same thing in the beans. Um, we did see December U.S. soybean exports come out uh, from a census standpoint higher than the inspection numbers, which makes things a little bit tighter. Uh, USDA should raise bean demand and, and lower the carryout, which could also raise prices. Um, we did see some uh, slight revisions down to the Argentina um, crops uh, that might show up on the world numbers, uh, a little bit lower corn number, uh, maybe a little bit lower bean number, but um, the uh, exchange down there did say Argentina farmers planted a record amount of beans, and the weather since then has been pretty favorable. Uh, down in Brazil, it looks like on February 17th, this high pressure ridge that's been dominating the weather might shift and change and move out of Brazil. That could re reduce some of the stress on the coffee, sugar, and late soybean crop and, and some of their energy concerns that they have. Um, as far as here in the United States, um, uh, weather-wise, cold, uh, some snow over the weekend, uh, cold next week, and then a gradual warming up uh, uh, later in the week. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.